come and let me teach you how to solve this kind of question this is your circle theorem don't be scared if you don't know the theorems i'm going to take this step by step okay it's just so easy now this is the diagram we are giving and we are told o is the center of the circle you look at it this is your o okay this is the center so we are told angle o a c o a c when you see this mention the angle is on the second letter i hope you are with me so you observe that the angle is formed at some part of a now and that angle is 30 degrees you are also told that to find angle a b c a b c that means angle at b so this is where we are looking for now how do you answer this what do you need to do remember this theorem now you remember that this is your circle and the outer part of this circle as we know is your circumference now when you take a part of this circle out something like this we call it an arc okay now the theorem says that when you have this arc that makes an angle at the center this is your center when it makes an angle at the center and makes another angle at the circumference the theorem says that if this angle it makes here is 2x this place will be x i hope it's clear so what it means is that if here is 30 this angle is going to be times 2 now if this is true let me remind you of another type of this which says if you have the same circle drawn in such that you have this as the center this is your red eye okay it forms this angle at the center and look at the part of the circumference where it makes another angle no longer upward but downward the theorem says the angle you make no longer the one inside now when the angle is formed downward at the downward part of it if here is x here is going to give you 2x and what is this theorem talking about it is angle at center so we have it that angle at center is equal to two times angle at circumference now we're going to use this theorem to answer this question now going back to this you observe that we are asked to find a b c so what we need to know is if we can get this reflex angle here it will help us to find this obeying this rule did you see so how do we get this reflex angle observe that this is the center from the center to the circumference we call it the radius and if this is the radius this is also the radius and what shape is it forming for o a c it is forming a triangle and what type of triangle let's bring that triangle out you see the triangle it forms when you have this type of triangle it's said to be isosceles and what happens to isosceles the base angles are always uh, equal this means that these two sides are equal so this angle they make at the base are always equal so what it means is that if here is 30, let's label it. If this angle here is 30 degrees, automatically the angle here will also be 30. So what do we have? We label it at angle OCA. So angle OCA, OCA is equal to 30 degrees. What is our reason? Base angles of isosceles triangle okay let's abbreviate that so if this is true you observe that it will help us to find this angle at this so to find this angle here what do you do you are going to add this up and it should be equal to 180 because this is angles in a triangle so we're going to have it as 180 so we do 180 minus the sum of these two so 30 plus 30 that will give us 180 minus, add this, you have 60. 180 minus 60 We give us a 120 degrees. Remember, our reason here is sum of angles in a triangle. I hope you are with me. So it means that this angle is 120 degrees. So if here is 120, you can find the reflex now because it has formed angle at a point so to find the reflex angle we are having so this gives us for the reflex we have this is what we have okay this is the part we are looking for 
and this is 120. So remember we said it is a revolution 360 degrees. So simply do 360 as the total minus this. And when you subtract this, our reason is what? Angles at a point, okay? So when you subtract this, it is going to give us 240 degrees. So what you have at this point is 240. So if this angle is 240, what should be here? Just remember what we have stated. So two times of this is this. So what will be here should be half. So to get the angle we are looking for, so we conclude that angle A, B, C is going to give us what? 240 divided it by 2. It gives you what should be here. So if you divide it, remember your reason for that is what? Angle at center, okay? Angle at center, we've already stated it there. So simplify this. So this gives us angle ABC is equal to, divide this, you are going to have 120 degrees. So that is the value of our angle ABC. And I hope you learned a lot. Let's know how much. And don't forget to ask questions. I'll be there with you. Share this if it helps you for others to learn with you. See you in our next class. Bye-bye.